I just received these brand new Singapore Math Primary Mathematics 2022 books. So let's take a look. Hi, my name's Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm thankful you're here. I'm thankful for your time. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool, and I am so excited to have the Singapore Math brand new primary 2022 books. So we're going to take a look at these today. If these are the types of videos you are interested in, please make sure you're subscribed because I really enjoy doing curriculum flip throughs, curriculum reviews, and just talking in general about all things homeschool. Now for the primary mathematics 2022 version, I have the student book in 5A, the master and beyond 5A, and then also the additional practice 5A. My home instructor's guide was on back order when I ordered these. And so all I have is the just the printouts from the website on the home instructor's guide. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. The brand new Primary Mathematics 2022 does go K through five. There is the 5A and 5B, so it's separated into two sets for the year, which is something that Singapore Math does with their curriculum. So you have a 5A and a 5B. There are also digital resources available within the Home Instructor's Guide or the Teacher's Guide. Um, you will be able to access information for digital resources, and they are in the process of adding other resources like games and digital manipulatives and things like that. What is available with the um, 2022 is the student book, and this is $12.95 for just the, the A portion. Then you will have the Master and Beyond. This is $12.95 as well. The additional practice, which is $12.95. You can also get the Home Instructor's Guide, which is $25. They do have the Teacher's Assessment Guide that is basically the tests and things like that for $20. And then also a Teacher's Guide, which is more for like your traditional classroom Teacher's Guide, and it is $56 for the 5A. Now, most of their second semester for, for grade five, their second semester will be coming out shortly. But let's get right into it. So we're going to do a flip through. For the student book, so this is our brand new book, and you can see that for each book, for each chapter, you'll have the chapter opener, task, learn, activity, learn together, practice on your own. And then they also have other features like recall and math talk, and we'll, we'll look at those in just a minute. Um, for the content, so this is your contents for A only. You're going to be doing multi-digit whole numbers, the four operations with whole numbers, addition and subtraction of fractions, multiplication and division of fractions, word problems, and then decimals. So we're, you're looking at what they call the chapter opener. It's like this. This is a picture and it explains what you're going to be learning. Why do we care? This is what do you observe about the population numbers of the three states? So it shows you large numbers and which state has the greatest population and how do you know? So these are some of the reasons that you want to understand the place value for the larger numbers. Now, this is a very colorful book. You can see that this is all very colorful, but at the end it says, I can, and you need to check. I can read and write numbers up to 1 million in standard form, word form, and expanded form. I can recognize the value of digits in a number up to 1 million, and then I can multiply a two-digit number by 10, by 10 and tens, so by 10, by 10 numerically, and then tens written out. That is what you need to do this, this is your recall, that's what you're doing. And then you move into 1A for your lesson. And so this is going to be your new concept, numbers to 10 million. You can see, again, it is extremely colorful. This is something that you work in. See that there are a few problems on each page. You can see you're now into exponents and it talks about how you write them. And then you have the little robot 
that helps you with the information and your smiley emojis <laughs> to, for asking you questions that you may need to think about. So again, this is an extremely colorful book. This is your this is your student tech or word problems. So now you're doing word problems based on what you have learned and how do you how did I do? And I like this as it's a general assessment for you to show how you did for the student to show how they did and then my teacher's words. What did your teacher think about it? When we get into STEAM project work, it gives you some information. You pick a topic and then you're learning about it. So you are applying the math that you've learned to this theme topic and then you have chapter practice before you go into chapter two which again gives you your picture with some real world applications for what you're getting ready to learn recall this is what you should be able to do uh, prior to starting this chapter and then you go into learning the or here's the orders of operation is what you're learning here So this is typical throughout this book, um, with, throughout the student workbook. You have information and then you're going to be doing your practice. And once you are at the end of your chapter, you're going to be able to have your word problems so that you can utilize the information that you have into your word problems. And you will also have your little robots at, um, helping you as you go along, but it's really learning about the word problems, showing your work, and then thinking about what you've done. Finally, how did you do? What did your teacher think? And then your chapter practice for what you have just learned. Then chapter three, again, addition and subtraction of fractions. This is what you should be able to do walking into chapter three, and then you get into add and subtract unlike fractions. So you can see that the bar modeling is still something that they have incorporated into the Primary Mathematics 2022. Then word problems. Reason and model, so this is what your additional word problems, then you have how did you do, my teacher's words, and now here's another STEAM project work. The perfect slime recipe. Multiplication and division of fractions. Okay. We still have our bar models. Um, product of fractions. Then we also get into product of mixed numbers. Fraction is division. Divide a fraction by a whole number. Divide a whole number by a unit fraction. Here is your performance task, showing your work, how did you do, and then your chapter practice. Now, now we have word problems. So these are going to be word problems for fractions. So you can see this is what you need to recall before you start this chapter. And now we're getting into all word problems. Okay. And then chapter six is decimals. And again, it's the same type of information. This is what you need to be able to do prior to starting the chapter, and then you start your chapter. Okay, so we have six chapters in 5A. Um, I have not seen the 5B book, but my understanding is that um, 5B starts with chapter seven, and it, go, and it covers the four operations of decimals, word problems, the four operations of decimals, then chapter nine was volume, 10 is properties and classification of 2D shapes, chapter 11 is line plots and the coordinate plane, and then chapter 12 
is number patterns and relationships. So from what I understand, there is a total of 12 chapters in the fifth grade books between 5A and 5B. Let's talk about the Mastery and Beyond book. This book is designed to provide consolidated practice across the different sections within a chapter so that you can support the mastery of that. So you can see for our student book, we have our contents of multi-digit whole numbers. And so your practice here is for multi-digit whole numbers. The four operations with whole numbers, and that's the same addition and subtraction of fractions, multiplication and division of fractions, word problems, and then decimals. So this is to help you master the concepts. Um, this is full color as well. And you can see how it just goes right along with what you're talking about. Here's where we had the exponents that we had talked about earlier. Just to help you master the, uh, the concepts. Now we have the additional practice book. Now the additional practice is truly a supplement to the student book. And so this is another, this is another what you would be considered a workbook. This one is in black and white. Um, but again, you have the same content, multi-digit whole numbers, the four operations with whole numbers, addition and subtraction of fractions, multiplication and division of fractions, word problems, and then decimals. It does follow the same order as a student text, and so you can see it is black and white, and it is additional practice for you to utilize. So this could be your workbook. You do have a few word problems, and they do give you space here to show your work. So you need. These two do not have the answers in them. The answers are found in the Home Instructor's Guide, which we will talk about in just one moment. Mastery and Beyond does include the answers in the back of the book. Whoops. Okay. So let's talk about the Home Instructor's Guide. Again, I just have where I had printed these pages off of their website. This is what they have available for you to preview. So you can see for this lesson, it is on page 55 of the student book. So let's turn to page 55. So this is all about dividing by tens. So you divide by tens. Your objective is to divide by tens with and without a remainder. So it gives you the materials that you need, your focus questions, and then it tells you what you need to be discussing with your student as well as teaching tips. And finally, it does give you the answer for the problems on this page. Let's look at another page. So this is for pages 83 to 86. Okay. So this is the chapter wrap up. And again, it tells you what you're looking to be able to do, what pages you have, questions that are in here so that you know what your student is being asked to do, and then you have your answers. And it also gives you some information on how to solve it. There's information for if you need additional support for your student, as well as your teaching tip. During the performance task, your student will be using all strategy learns in this chapter. Remind your student to use place value chips and area models to support to multiplying and dividing if necessary. This is two-part word problems. The 
pages in the book, focus questions, teaching, teaching tips, and then also the answers. Let's look at the bar modeling one for just a minute. We go to pages 203 and 204. So here's your bar modeling. This is your bar modeling. You can, in your student text, it does give you the bar model, so they did not put it in here. But for question number two, there is no bar model provided to the student. So this is how it should be set up. And you can see for three and four, it's the same thing. I hope that this video has been useful for you. As I mentioned, we have not used these yet because I just opened them. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, Singapore Math has indicated that each lesson um, should be about 30 minutes. Again, if you are not subscribed, please do so. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much.